Hello everybody, today's video is on Video First, a collaborative user interface testing platform. Welcome to Profile 3 TV and today we're very excited to have Bob Marks who's the CEO of Video First. We're going to have a conversation about his business and uh, find out what he does. Bob, thank you very much for coming in. So, who would mind telling us a little bit of your background and uh, what your company does? Sure. Uh, so, my name is Bob and founder of Video First. Um, I'm originally from Kilkeel in County Down. I've been living in Belfast now exactly 20 years. Uh, graduated uh, Jordanstown in 2003, so I've been in the industry now, software industry, 15 years. Yeah. It's a long, long time, 15 years, and, <laughs> and uh, you've probably seen a lot of changes then over over uh, the 15 years and and what's been produced and how the uh, I guess the industry is. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah it's very very fast moving, fast paced industry, software industry. It's hard to keep up sometimes. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. but but obviously now you've got your own business, yep. video first. So you'd mind telling us a little bit about that and, and what it does? Sure. Uh, have you ever been on a website you click something and it just didn't work? Too many times? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I don't know you. Well, it, it really bugs me. Uh, to me, that says there's something wrong with the user interface. Mm -hmm. uh, the user interface is the primary way which people will interact with your software product and arguably the, the, the most important aspect of your software product. Um, so testing that is, I feel, is of the highest priority. Mm -hmm. And that's where the idea for video first came from. It's uh, an innovative way to test your user interface using various video technologies. Amazing. And obviously video video is so current yeah. now and yeah. uh, amazing to see you're using it in software as well. Yeah. And do you think that people uh, realise that they have to keep an eye on their website and things might break and, and uh, maybe the, the, the user flow isn't always perfect? Do you think people realise that or is that something people forget? Uh, I think most people realise it as, as one of those things when it goes wrong and go very badly wrong. Uh, I think the, the statistic for Amazon, for example, if Amazon website went down for 10 minutes, it would lose like a million dollars in, in lost revenue, which is a crazy amount of money. Um, maybe not all you know, sites are quite as important as that, but yeah, uh, if things go wrong, it can go badly wrong in terms of uh, lost revenue and user experience as well. Course, you course. My, my five year old son gets annoyed when he sees the spinner on YouTube <laughs> going for deal. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, that's it. People don't have a, a patience, I'd wait for anything, but <laughs> expect a, the two second load time. It's uh, incredible, so very important. And, and what type of clients then would you work with? Uh, so, just range from the smaller companies like Video First uh, mm -hmm. with maybe three, four staff, much, to much bigger companies with even hundreds of members and stuff. Uh, I think for Video First, Ideal client is a client where they're distributed across the world. Uh, video first is like a YouTube style repository, but instead of like lots of cat videos, it's it's videos of user interface tests, and they're they're quite categorised. But it gives the ability. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia, if you're in America, you can log into this one single site and you know look at tests that your team has done. Mm -hmm. So a, a scenario would be uh, an engineer creates a new bit of functionality. Uh, they hit record. They do a quick test of that functionality. The video then goes into the the platform into video first. They can then add their teammates, uh, whether it's management, whether it's designers, other engineers, they can quickly log in, play a video of the, the test, they can at that stage approve or decline, uh, if they decline, or even if they approve, they can select or is the screen and say, you know, this is too big, too small, or in the wrong place, and uh, I suppose the, the whole idea is that it massively increases visibility of the whole engineering process at a much earlier stage. Uh, and especially getting customers involved in an earlier stage will we'll save time and money and really get your product to market quicker. Incredible uh, how true that is and, and we see it every day in what we're doing. It's, it's uh, painful when you get the feedback at the end of the journey and you've yeah. built, built everything, you, getting it as you go is so, yeah. so important. Well, really so, so collaboration then in user testing is, is important to what you do? Oh, uh, absolutely. So c collaboration is just what I described, you know, the ability for your teammates it is a collaborative platform, so they can log in, they can chat to each other, they can approve, decline, uh, and over time you get that sort of visual audit trail as well. So, for example, uh, say, say if one of your testers leaves an organisation, uh, typically that means you lose a lot of expertise, uh, it costs time and money to train up new staff. Uh, if a new tester comes along, they, they can simply play a video of how the test was performed before, and very quickly understand without having to rely on other members of staff to train them up. Again, saving time and money. Yes. 
Amazing. And and do you find many problems then, or what's the challenges even? I'm thinking you're you're a new business. How many years have you uh, been? A year and a half now, so we're yes. still quite early stage. Incredible. Gosh, the, the the joys of early stage businesses. What so what challenges do you find then as a as a tech company in in Northern Ireland? Is there uh, new challenges out there every day? Oh, there there absolutely is. Uh, I was down over Bass there for. Literally just up until now, so I've mm -hmm. been there slightly over a year. We're we're moving now into the Ulster Bank right. accelerator, um, but I suppose the challenges of any small company, mm -hmm. you know, getting your product to market, getting the feedback, are you building the right thing? You know, it it, it might be a problem that solves a problem for me, but does it solve a problem for? <laughs> is it, does it solve enough problems that as a business? You know, so I suppose one of the trickiest things is just getting out to as many people as possible, getting that feedback, getting that iteration, make sure it is solving people's problems and. You know, just growing the business from there. Mm, amazing, and I'm um, thinking again of your product. I've I've heard of uh, UI testing automation. Yes. Is that so? What's the difference between UI testing and UI testing automation? Is there a big difference? Yeah, I, I suppose one way to look at it is every software organisation does manual testing, so it's really manual testing and automated testing. Mm -hmm. uh, so 100 percent of software companies do manual testing. You make something, you test it. Does it work? Uh, However, in Belfast, there's only 15% of companies are doing automated testing. So, like, if you imagine the car industry, you know, it used to be a bunch of folk in a room were, were building the car, but nowadays everything's automated. And I suppose in the context of user interface testing, an automated test is a bit of software that mimics a human actually testing the software. So there is an initial cost in creating them, but I suppose just like the car industry, where, you know, automated robots can work 24-7, an automated uh, user interface test can also work 24-7, so they very, very quickly pay for themselves. Wow, incredible. So, yeah. so you see that as the future then? Well, ab absolutely, yeah. And uh, if something breaks, then you know before your customer knows. And that's, that's, the, real, that's the real value of the automated test. So, and with Video First, our technology helps capture the, the test of the video as well. So we capture both manual and automated user interface tests. Amazing. So I can sit and watch actually what happened? Exactly. So if something did break, you can go back and say what happened before that. Could it could have been something, uh, you know, further behind, a few seconds mm -hmm. behind, that actually caused the failure of the test. Amazing. I can see then uh, the UI, the automate, automated testing will have a lot of advantages then over manual. I guess if you can do it twenty four seven. Oh, well, absolutely. There, as I said, there is that initial cost to, to create mm -hmm. it, but once it's in place, you do save, do save yeah. a bit of money. Amazing. But another thing I found is. Sometimes you can do an automated test too early in the life in the software life cycle, uh, and then essentially what you're doing is, especially with the whole collaboration piece. So you're developing a new bit of software, but there's a lot of to and fro in between the customer, designers, management, engineers, everybody. Uh, and until that sort of settles down, it would be my preference not to create the automated test, because if you create the automated test too early, you're essentially maintaining two code bases. So uh, it would be my preference to once it settles down, and that's where the collaboration feature to video first help yeah. and then once everybody's happy with it and they all approve and then at that stage that it's ready for automation. Incredible and I guess your markets uh, the potential is growing and growing as more and more businesses go online and and we're really moving towards a, a digital world uh, uh, incredible uh, changes all around do you think uh, companies really need to be aware of their digital strategy then when they're, they're looking at the uh, uh, the digital world uh, and, and trying to move online. I'm thinking of the traditional businesses who've never had a like, weed plants and today who've never had a website before yeah. and it's a steep learning curve in, in what they have to do. Uh, their focus is just to have a website online or a Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, th do you think this this is even advanced uh, or everyone should be doing looking at their UI testing? I, I think so. Uh, I suppose if your company only has a small website you know that that's maybe less a priority but mm -hmm. if you're building any any complexity at all in your user interface. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a site, it could be any bit of software that can be displayed on the screen. And there's there's absolute value in, in having it, it tested. Yeah, nice. and uh, it's, we live in a, a global world where mm. paper is distributed across the world. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's the online aspect is, the digital aspects become okay. increasingly more important. Do you think that a collaborative user interface is beneficial for companies that are in B2B? Yeah, I think a video first applies to all companies, really, um, whether it's in the B2B space or the, the B2C. Um, like an example would be, say, Facebook, mm -hmm. the, the development new feature. So, yeah, uh, or it could be also uh, a client that actually is producing bespoke software for lots of different clients. 
uh, in fact, very first, the collaboration aspect of it, the ability for the customer to see progress is 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 really good in that space. Amazing. And and does video first? So do you find that people are using it more pre-production, more pre-going live, or is it actually when websites are live in, in the field and they're trying to improve it? Uh, at this stage, uh, it'd be more the pre before it goes live. Very interesting. Uh, but once it is live, that's when the automation parts would become more important. Incredible, yeah, because it's all about the those marginal improvements, trying to improve your your uh, I guess your sales at one or two percent every time. Uh, absolutely, yeah, and it's improving that process as well. So traditionally, a lot of companies would have used uh, ideal technology such as spreadsheets, uh, book tracking systems, and they're they're fine up to a certain point, but. Uh, you don't really get that visibility of what you're actually testing mm -hmm. and it's that old uh, proverb you know if a picture tells a thousand words mm -hmm. well in this case a video can be priceless you yeah. you see much more context you know precisely what happened yeah. uh, also in the context of the testing you know the testing has been done and some of the most interesting bits is is looking at some of the comments of it's not so much the functionality that the test is testing but also the testing itself where it's like you know this needs tested to has higher standard Amazing, interesting. Yeah. So was, my next question is: Is there common things that just you, you you see uh, that from all your uh, users that are wrong or or you know, um, I guess loads of people are making this same mistake. Is there things that jump out, or everyone's different and websites are just so complex that sometimes there's different problems in each website. Yeah, I suppose there's a mixture of both of those really. Uh, there is complexity, and it depends a lot of the time on the ap application itself. Um, but as I suppose like any sort of problem where you just sort of break down into smaller parts and each of those can be tested individually. Amazing. Excellent. Yeah. And, and do you find that, again, the people who are really interested in your software are, are companies who have big, big websites, maybe hundreds and hundreds or thousands of pages, is that your typical uh, customer? Uh, so sometimes it could be a relatively simple AI, but behind the scenes mm -hmm. there's a lot of complexity. It could be like lots of algorithms, machine learning, databases, all wow. sorts of stuff. And really, the user interface is just the uh, it's just the portal into that technology. So sometimes the user interface itself could be relatively simple, mm -hmm. but you still it still has to be well tested because it is still testing all the stuff underneath. Of course, yeah. I guess you know when you put your website live to clients, if they have a bad experience, then their their trust and perception of the brand is not uh, in a good place at all. Well, absolutely, yes. as as uh, I mentioned earlier on about the Amazon yeah. example, you know so. Uh, if it goes down even for a few minutes, there can be huge impacts in terms of revenue, and it can just can be embarrassing as well ah. for, for businesses. Well, that's yeah. what we see it. It's amazing when you think of the some of the biggest companies in the world, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I think it was oh, maybe only last week that Facebook and Instagram and and their messenger apps yeah. went offline for a little while. So you're right. No, it's uh, yeah. the perception. Of course, it's uh, everywhere. Everyone's talking about it, so it's not good. Yeah. Not good for the business at all. They're losing. They're losing a fortune in ads and everything. Uh, and exactly, and the and the user doesn't really care about the technology, the you know how the code, the databases, all that sort of stuff underneath. All they see really is user interface. So, and and what you're judged by is the experience they have when they use that user interface. Yes. So uh, again, that's why I focused on that area. I suppose incredible. No, when you when you explain it through and you, you you know you start to realize yeah how important user interface is. It's the first thing people see, and you're right. If it's a bad experience, then you're you're beat. And sometimes the only thing to see. <laughs> Coming very through, yeah, yeah, amazing, excellent. So what, what's next for Video First and what's in the global push to take over the world? Yeah, so in the in the short term we're, we're pushing out new features just based on feedback from some of our, for our trial users and mm -hmm. our first customers and uh, in the more sort of medium term we're looking at integrating with uh, products such as Trello, uh, Slack, Jira. These are mm -hmm. tools that engineers use on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. and that's something a lot of people have been asking for. And uh, our long-term strategy is to uh, just really revolutionise the way people test their user interfaces. Yeah. Uh, I suppose the hardest bit of that is is getting people to change their process. Yeah. You know, so it's making the whole experience as slick as possible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they can immediately see the value of, of doing it this way. Amazing, excellent, well, Bob. Thank you very much for coming in and thank explaining you. to me what user interface is and how important it is. So, of course, we live and breathe every day, but actually, you know, it it does take a conversation and sit down to uh, drive it home so I uh, appreciate you coming in and having a chat today. Yeah, thank you. Excellent and if anyone wants to reach out to yourself or to find out more about uh, your software what's the best place for them to find you? Yep so uh, www.videofirst.io 
Excellent. It's a website. I'll Excellent. I'll be delighted to take any questions or do a quick demo or, or whatever. Amazing. Yeah. Excellent. And we'll have a link underneath this video so anyone can click through and so, uh, obviously visit the site and, and see more about what you're doing. So, so again, thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you. Excellent. And thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's chat and learned something new. Again, back to how important user interface is, my word. If you have a website and you're not looking after your uh, user interface, then you're you're in trouble. Um, don't forget to click on the links below, uh, visit Bob's website, uh, check out the video first. And uh, that's us for today. It's Kieran here at Profile 3, the content marketing agency. We're in the Springfield Road in Belfast, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.